I'd like to talk to you today about campaigns in indirectsales.com. Campaigns are a fundamental part of the way that indirect sales works. The concept behind it is that every opportunity is attached to a campaign, or rather, a campaign framework is given to every opportunity. So what are campaigns? Well, re in reality, it, they perform two tasks. The first is that they allow an organization to plan and to structure its uh, sales process. And by that I mean it allows them to group and organize opportunities uh, according to a whole range of factors. Um, these factors might be where the opportunity comes from. Is it uh, an opportunity that derives from an exhibition? Um, is it an opportunity that derives from a cold calling exercise? Or it may be the type of opportunity. Is it an FMCG sale? Is it uh, a low volume, very high margin product? Is it a service we're delivering? It may be associated with the route to the customer. Although there's a bit of a giveaway in the name in directsales.com, it's perfectly possible to manage direct sales through this process. So you may have one campaign for direct sales and another one for indirect sales. You may have a campaign pattern for your distributors and a different one for your resellers. So, so that's one particular way that campaigns can be viewed. There's also another leg to campaigns and that's to do with the ability to, to attach a series of sales process or a workflow, if you will, to a campaign. And that's a, 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 another, a rather more complex process, which we will go on to explore in another film. However, at this stage, we're going to take a quick look at the standard campaign and how that's organized. The campaign I'm looking at has been put together um, as a simple campaign. There's no huge sophistication in this one and it's probably done uh, to quickly enable very straightforward sales whereby the level of complexity in terms of um, the buying choice is, is not that um, profound one might say it might be for lower value products one might say it might be for products which are easier to sell If we go quickly and take a look at, uh, the op at how uh, um, this, this data is made up, you will notice that in addition to things like names and objectives, I can pop in a, a web link, start dates and finish dates, type. This is one way that you can actually categorize a campaign. If you're looking, um, one of the things you want to do in terms of your campaign is looking at the source of the leads. In other words, the campaign you believe you can um, organize a workflow depending on how you sourced your particular leads you can pop that in this way we have a figure for expected revenue a figure for budgeted costs figure for actual costs expected response and a description so this kind of, this um, relatively fixed data is it, quite simple and quite straightforward to collect the second thing that we can do with campaigns is we can check the status of various opportunities as they go through the process. So we have we look at the deals and that gives us a quick view of all the deals associated with this campaign. This is presented in, term, in, in an order of when the campaign was last um, actioned. In a similar manner we have leads. Now this one is, a little, is although many of the, the accounts are very similar, it pretty much stops at when the lead is actually promoted um, to a deal. We have a pipeline report. And this one is organized in terms of very much the status and the progress of a particular opportunity through a deal. Again, it's organized alphabetically, this one as opposed to when activities actually took place and the expected close date is blank in many cases because this refers to leads which may not necessarily have an expected close date 
Now the sophistication I was referring to is seen here where this is a layout which allows you to create a workflow. As you'll see here it says this form is finalized. So the particular workflow for this campaign is finalized and cannot be adjusted. As I said in a later film I'll go and look at this whole notion of um, forms and workflow in more detail.